All right, let's talk about this chest workout. Before we check the exercises in detail, it's important to know how the chest is built and works. The chest muscle aka pectoralis major can be separated into three different parts. The clavicular head, the sternocostal head and the abdominal head. All muscle fibers of these heads come together into one single tendon inserting on the front of your upper arm. The primary function of your pectoralis major is to bring your arm forward or upwards called shoulder flexion, such as when you are bench pressing, doing push-ups or throwing a punch. Other functions of your pecs are to adduct your arm and to internally rotate it. Depending on the angle at which you move your arm, different muscle fibers of the pecs will work more or less. If you do a more overhead pressing movement, you will target the upper fibers, so the clavicular part. If you do a more horizontal pressing movement, you will target the whole pec muscle fibers pretty evenly, although it's still the best angle for focusing on the sternocostal part. And if you press down, you will target the lower fibers, so the abdominal part. Please keep in mind that it's still impossible to isolate those parts completely. No matter which chest exercise you do, all parts will be active and you can only shift the focus between them. Now let's take a look at the chest workout from the beginning. The first exercise is just a regular wide push-up with slightly rotated wrists. And this will not focus on your upper chest because it's still a horizontal push movement. If you want to target the upper fibers of the pecs with push-ups, you have to do decline push-ups, best done at an angle of about 30 degree. The further you go above this point, the more you will involve the front delts and decrease the upper pec activity. If you do decline push-ups, we suggest using parallels or push-up handles to get the full range of motion. The next exercise is about targeting the center or inner chest and this brings us to a controversial topic. Most people will say that you cannot target your inner or outer chest because there's no interruption between the fibers itself. So you can target different parts like the upper, middle and lower chest but not selectively contract parts over the fibers length. Others say that regional or non-homogeneous hypertrophy exists and point out that several studies prove that point. However, no matter which side you are on, this push-up variation is not a good way to focus on your center or even your chest in general. In fact, it actually shifts the focus onto your triceps, because the pushing motion is mostly done by elbow flexion and extension and not shoulder flexion or adduction. So even when you use a more narrow grip, make sure to fully extend your elbows and retract your shoulder blades at the bottom. At least when your primary goal is to target your chest. The next one is claimed to be a lower chest exercise. And again this is wrong, because it's also done in a horizontal body position. You just move your body from one side to the other, making it harder by extending your arm. So this arm is supporting your body weight like in a regular push-up. And this arm is supporting you like in a fly movement. To target the lower chest with body weight exercises, simply do dips. And to optimize them, try chest dips. Here you lean a bit forward to decrease the shoulder stress and triceps involvement as much as possible. The last exercise is claimed to target the full chest, and this is kinda true. However, it's just an explosive hand switch push-up. So in terms of full chest training, it's not superior to a regular horizontal push-up movement. It's also questionable to do explosive push-ups like that, because you put the front arm in a really bad position. However, it's not wrong to train your chest with explosive push-ups per se. It's only safer to choose a more shoulder-friendly arm position. Alright, considering all those points, let me give you a quick conclusion. Do decline push-ups for your upper chest. Do any version or progression of the regular push-up to hit the whole chest. And do dips to focus on the lower part. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're looking for a science-based workout program with no bullshit, make sure to check our online courses on kellymove.com. No matter if you're a beginner or already pretty advanced, we've got you covered. If you like this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe and activate the notifications. My name is Alex and I'll see you in the next video.